Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Home Trader Club and welcome to my weekly Forex forecast. Today we are preparing for the trading week of 12 to 16 of June 2023. A very big week is ahead of us, a lot of fundamental financial events uh, which could uh, define the next uh, significant uh, moves and waves that the market will follow. Uh, if it's the um, cash rate in Europe, if it is the CPI report in the US uh, and the um, race decision to follow and many, many more. But before we dig deeper uh, into the, the news and uh, go over what we have, I would like to welcome you. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our amazing community and please subscribe to the channel with the subscribe button below this video. Now let's begin. I have uh, four very interesting uh, instruments I would like to uh, share with you that would be the CAD yen to the charts. That would be the CAD yen, the pound yen, pound franc as well, and the NASDAQ. I'll be talking about NASDAQ, but of course it will um, refer to the other ones as uh, well. So there are a lot of interesting things coming, uh, technically speaking, but before that, uh, let's have a quick look on what's coming on the news, okay, it's gonna be busy week, uh, and it starts with the climate count change in Britain, and then on Tuesday, CPI report and the core CPI report. As you can see, the numbers are expected to improve at least in terms of the annual CPI report, which is great news. If the market indeed will show the slowdown, that's big news. That will uh, uh, um, increase, I would say, the odds that the Federal Reserve is very close to the place where it can really stop increasing uh, and hiking the rates and maybe in the coming future even uh, uh, reverse back this direction. Uh, then uh, we have on Wednesday the GDP in Britain, one I would pay attention to, especially with this expected news, uh, the expected increase on the forecast. If the numbers do not disappoint, it could be very, very serious uh, boost to the pound. Then we have again uh, going back to the U.S. with core PPI and PPI reports, um, and then of course the rates decision. According to the forecast and the consensus, the rates should not change and should stay around the 5.25 this time. GDP in New Zealand to follow, uh, job markets in Australia, industrial production in China, pay attention to this one, it's also very important. Then on Thursday, we have the race decision in uh, uh, Europe, uh, following with their policy statement, retail sales uh, and core retail sales, empire states manufacturing, unemployment claims, which surprised the last week in the US, uh, and again, it's a big, 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 big trading week. And of course, one part of that is all the news coming. So stay tuned. Now let's talk about the um, instruments and opportunities we have here. Uh, technically, the first one would be the Canyon. A very interesting technical condition we can find uh, on the Canyon after a beautiful rally we've had here and the reversal that took place in these three waves. Right now, we are completing a beautiful corrective mode. Now, take a look where does all that take us, okay? Let's see where, why it's here. Why, uh, where does it take us? Take a look what happens here with the um, CAD yen. So first move down rally, we create lower highs, then lower lows, okay? But pay attention how, while this law was broken, take a look what happens here two weeks in a row. The sellers took control from the buyers. Look, these spikes, you see these spikes here, represent what? The attempt of the buyers to take the control. So this was the broken support that becomes a resistance. And now the price is back to the zone where the sellers managed to take the control. This is very significant by itself. And if we analyze the uh, previous rally, we got these spikes on the top here. So we are about to, actually we already entered a very significant area uh, on the weekly chart. Going down to the daily chart, we can see that while the market is significantly making the higher highs, 
the indicator starts to indicate a slowdown. Lower highs on the histogram put a beautiful, um, I would say, suggestion that the buyers are running off the, off the steam. Also, take a look on the candles. From major big candles, we start to slowly, slowly, slowly decrease the average size of the candles with the slowdown, with the supply area that is coming. The way I see that, every rally that will very likely take place should be then countered by the sellers. Uh, rallies here, from my point of view, should provide beautiful uh, sell opportunity. And if I take it to the four hour chart, it's already building up, as you can see. Take a look, this is the daily and the weekly resistances based on the volume we saw above, right? We can start to see already a fake uh, high uh, created here, the false break indicator. By the way, you can find all my uh, indicators, of course, as always, right here on my blog. Okay, you go to vladimirrebekov.com, go to my strategies and courses, in-house indicators, and all the indicators that you see on my chart with the key trading levels uh, and the false break and convergence and many more you will find here, okay? So I uh, can always go and download uh, your um, favorite ones, of course, as well. So back to Cad Yen, uh, the way I see that, every rally uh, that um, very likely will take place should provide the opportunity to look for the conditions where we get higher highs on the chart, but lower highs on the moving average of the MACD and the RSI, which is called a bearish divergence or negative divergence, and from there, counter trend to the downside. Okay, so uh, levels to pay attention to of where from where to sell from. We already saw down to where. So of course, back to the demand areas we have. That's the previous lows here, and of course this major you can see here all these zone a major volume zone okay so these rallies once again i do expect eventually uh, the price to drop all the way lower to uh, retest these key zones what are your thoughts about the cad yen um let me know please share in the comment section and also i would like to take this opportunity to ask um, your support. If you find value in this video, please hit this like button, drop some uh, feedback in the comment section. Uh, your support is very much appreciated. And as a thank you, uh, I will grant one full month uh, access to Home Trader Club, where you will enjoy, of course, the courses, uh, our community, and any more. So all you have to do is to like this uh, video, feel free to share it with anyone in the community and leave your comment uh, in the comment section, one of you would get a free month. And congratulations to our winner from the previous week. Uh, and uh, again, thanks for your support, guys. I appreciate it. And as a thank you, a one free month, full access to Home Trader Club would be granted to one of you. Now, one more very interesting fact that I want to show you. If I take a look on the market strength snapshot I have in uh, the Home Trader Club, take a look what happens with the CAD in terms of the numbers. Look at that. The monthly is under a bullish rally of 4% the, so far, right? The uh, daily is decreasing to below 2%. The 24 hours, the last, it's below half percent. We can see clearly the decrease in numbers. I personally love to combine this together with my uh, technical analysis. Uh, and once I uh, have this synchronization, I know where to look at and uh, where uh, to find the opportunity. Now let's go to our next one, and the next one is going to be the pound yen. But before I start to explain the technical conditions we have here, and why do I believe the pound yen is also coming to a key level, uh, and very soon, very likely to develop some uh, reversal signs, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Mugen Markets for supporting me, my channel, my work, and my community. Uh, and the great news for you guys is we have a very special deal with Mugen Markets. Let me tell you what is the deal and how can you benefit from it. With the link below this video, you can join Mugen Markets, open your trading account with them, fund it 
of course make sure you trade it and here is the deal i have with mogan markets to my community and big thanks to mogan markets of course for allowing that you can all the members of mogan markets who join uh, from my, uh, my community can go and choose three of the amazing tools I have here for traders. You go to the blog, vladimirovakov.com, strategies and courses, in-house indicators, choose any three you want, any three tools you want, and you get full access to that. Of course, the paid version, you get it free, okay? so any three of them or you get three months free access to the home trader club. Okay, three full months of access. If you prefer access instead to any of my trading systems like the SRS, Forex Triple B, or the Divergence University, or anything else, no problem. Again, this is an offer for the community. So whatever works for you, we can make it work here's what you have to do just contact me of course first of all complete your step uh, open your account fund your account with morgan markets use the link below because we will have to verify it all comes from the community and uh, contact me in my telegram which you can see right now on this very screen let me know your choice of a strategy the access to home trader club or any of my trading tools and the indicators we have here, or robots that help you with like risk management or uh, trailing the stop loss, the stop loss uh, trailer pro we have, which is amazing features for those who, um, amazing indicator actually, with features that fit those who love to ride a trend and move uh, or trail their stop losses. So uh, this is the offer, especially for our community. And again, thanks to Mogan Markets for allowing it, of course, for supporting me, my work, and my community. And uh, enjoy, guys. And now let's see what do we have on the chart. So the market is rallying, and the market is rallying big time. But, but and for long run, I am not sure it's over. But I definitely think that on the short run, these rallies will, should start to show some signs of a slowdown and a pullback before very potential further continuation uh, afterwards upside. So here is why, okay? If I go to the daily chart, take a look what do we currently have here. These are the weekly waves. 100% expansion is right here. Between these two potential highs to be created, there already has, it already has a bearish divergence on the moving average of the MACD. Besides that, if I plot Fibonacci expansion on this leg and the next leg, I receive a classical golden ratio of 61 to 161 in expansion, okay, right here, which makes me think there is a big aha moment, right? This is a very potential bearish divergence. And I think that the pair is, is running. Hit the like button, subscribe here, to the channel, and remember to the notifications. To start and thank you very much in advance for your help. And pullback and correction. Okay, so going down to the four hour chair, that's where I like to see some uh, reversal signs building up. And remember the news I mentioned before on the on Britain this uh, week? Pay attention, of course. We also have the monetary policy in Japan this week. All together can be very, very uh, good trigger for uh, that to happen. What I like to see in that case is I like to see some slow down size, some fake highs, okay, some slow down while the market is making higher highs the indicator making lower highs and once that happens i like to see uh, trend line breakouts lower lows to be created once these conditions and the flip on the market really manage to happen i like to spot my sell opportunities so once again that's the zones we saw before we discussed right i want to see this slow down i want to see this uh, divergence building up and happen a bearish candle pattern to start and build up and convincing reversal and to look for my short-term uh, sell opportunities. Don't get it wrong because when say it sounds short-term, like uh, might be intraday. The answer is no. This could could be uh, for uh, some um, 
significant time and this short term could provide hundreds of pips movement so don't underestimate uh, a short term opportunity it's not scalping or not uh, day trading so the pound yen is yet under bullish pressure however it is about to enter the key zone we discussed and i believe that as long as the price is within the zone i'll be looking for the reversal signs to build up slow down fake highs on the chart reversal signs in terms of candle patterns negative divergence higher highs on the chart lower highs on the indicator all that would be great signs that the uh, pair is building up some good significant uh, reversal signs what are your thoughts about the pound yen share with us in the comment section and once again i want to remind you guys one of you would get the full absolutely full free access to home trader club for one month all you have to do is like this video and leave your comment feel free to share it with anyone in your trading community this is absolutely open for uh, the community uh, and i hope you find value in that let's move to the next one next one is going to be the pound front very interesting opportunity building up here and i want to explain how do i see that so from the very long view the pair is running here under a strong bullish divergence okay which by itself puts the pressure for the long run for a rally going down to the weekly chart here is the interesting thing these three waves we got here okay ended up here with oversold conditions and a strong bounce upside and this bounce right now as you can see here on the weekly chart is attempting to break this range okay if it managed to go and really complete that it could be a great sign that we are ready for more towards the falling resistance line and the 61.8 expansion that we have here there is some tricky zone to pay attention to that's right here this inner zone the spikes okay it's slightly below than the 61.8 where it, it could really go and start to create some pressure a lot of sellers in this zone but uh, I do believe that the falling resistance line would be retested and eventually 61.8 as well. And to time it better, we go to the daily chart, take a look on the same um, range we discussed from the weekly, right? So plot this uh, falling resistance line. Okay, this is our range line. If we manage to go and really complete this significant hold above by the pullbacks, sounds like the correct plan here okay and with that in mind on the four hour chart again imagine the um, uh, daily completes the movement right then the four hour chart will complete with the daily making the range four hour chart is likely to complete three waves and then it becomes a classical trending structure with by the deeps plan why do I like this one? Because it really has some significant move all the way to the upside. I believe if the rally continues, we should see at least one 16, 117 area uh, and very possibly 120 for the long run. So pay attention to this one. I think this one has a really uh, real potential. News coming out in uh, Britain this week. Uh, pay attention. It, it could be significant of course the rates in the us uh, could also contribute to this party so that's my view on the pound franc uh, looking to get the rallies with the, the daily range uh, uh, completing the breakout and holding above that by the pullbacks would be my plan what would be yours share in the comment section now let's move to the last one and that would be the nasdaq I choose Nasdaq, but it could be, of course, relevant to the other ones as well, like the S&P, the uh, Dow Jones. I believe that we are running to some significant zone and pressure. Okay, a lot of sellers here awaiting us here. And on the supply from the weekly chart, broken support that becomes a resistance these are very key zones rsi is coming very close here as you can see to overbought conditions on the weekly chart and if i go to the daily chart that's where it starts to be interesting the daily chart has over 
20 candles right on the upper Bollinger Band. It runs into a significant volume and resistance zone for the weekly and the monthly chart. Now, how significant such areas are? Take a look what happened the last time RSI had over 20 candles right on the Bollinger's and run into a weekly and monthly chart resistance. Take a look what happened since. Significant drop. Before that, same story. Over 20 candles right, RSI came not exactly to 80, but close to 80, and between 70 to 80 anyway, and again, significant move down. Okay, so we are in these conditions here where I believe it should go and create the reversal signs uh, and a sell off taking place. Going down to the four hour chart, this is where we could start to see the opportunities building up, building up for us. Fake high or false breakout completed. Uh, and right now we are holding this resistance. Of course, if it climbs above that, fake highs exactly like with the CAD yen example I gave before uh, would be absolutely classical uh, one to follow. Uh, and from this zone of the weekly chart, and right, we discussed before, I believe that every rally here should be considered as a fake one. And probably starting from this week, maybe next week, I anticipate uh, a correction down. And how long this correction down should be? So if the, rally, the last wave of the rally was about 40 candles, I would anticipate the other one pretty much in the same size. And uh, the interesting part that brings us back to this volume zone and that's somewhere by end of July, maybe through August uh, as well. So yeah, for me, it's coming. Um, what will happen next? It's too early to judge, but at that time, it looks like we are running to a very significant uh, levels and there should happen, some trigger should happen there uh, fundamentally that will make that happen. So for me, sell these rallies on the Nasdaq uh, is definitely the opportunity. What do you think about this one? Do you think it's time the American indices and maybe other indices making the move down? Let me know, let the other know as well uh, in the comment section below this video. So that's pretty much it uh, for uh, this week. I hope you find value in the opportunities and you like them. And I would like to take the opportunity and to invite you to our trading family, the Home Trader Club, where you will enjoy full access to our complete trading courses, real-time trading opportunities, real-time trading education, access to our community, and so, so, so much more. So join us with the link below this video in the description. I wish you and yours all the very best. Good trading and see you around. Bye for now.